Robots Radio presents. Previously on Ambrosia Island. It's a lot of you for just a few of us, eh? <laughs> Look what would amount to security. Do they let us take our carry They unarm you. They take your guns, they take your things. You're not going to take a cane away from an old man, are you? Piece of shit, fuck you! What in the world is what? The rumblings that you hear about the Ambrosia Foundation. Daniel Herbert is a name that has cropped up before. I don't know much about him, just that he's associated with I you. I think I will keep uh, my things uh, close to myself from now on. Thank I you. I uh, believe I had a violin. I insist on housing you for at least a night. And so what do you do to the people who no longer want to be here? Everyone is free to leave. But my uh, colleague, Joan, I had not heard from her. Joan, she was here and she's been here for a few months and uh, I haven't seen her in two days. So uh, the name uh, the Fellowship. Um, nature's... Uh, it's f- I think what's important is that we find our way to our quarters and we... Uh, it's been a very long trip. Enjoy your evening and enjoy your stay. Tarquin motions for you to follow him um, and to take you to the second floor and you go through down a, a few more corridors and he stops uh, in front of two rooms that are opposite one another. Motions for you to take the two. However you decide to divvy up, the quarters is up to you. Pierre walks into the the one on the left. One on the left, sure. Okay. I will follow him in. Right. That's Father John and well, this Mina is us, on the then. right. All right, then. And so you guys come inside. It's a fairly... They're, they're fairly sizable rooms. You have a mirror with a bedside uh, with a kind of a... Like a vanity or yeah, something? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Like, a, like a, a vanity... Mirror drawer thing. Yep. 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 There you go. Vanity <laughs> with the mirror drawers. You've got the kind of the two tables, uh, two beds on the corner. Nice four corner, four poster beds. Uh, while really I'm in nice the room, sheets. I want to kind of like uh, have a look around, just kind of see if there's anything hidden in there. Yeah, give me, anything give me, left a, behind. Give me a spot hidden check for me. Good. Yep, you succeeded. Yep. Everything's it just seems like a normal room. Okay. You, are you looking for anything in particular? Um uh, anything left behind, any kind of messages or clues or things from previous people who've been in the room? Not really. It looks like a fairly like it looks like it's recently been made and done up. The bed's immaculately, you know, you've still got a bit of incense and a smell of kind of like coconutty vanilla. Okay. Um if Pierre rolled a two. I notice anything special. Or just a lacquer. A violin. A vi- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Christmas. Mon Dieu. <laughs> this room has been made in the last half an hour. It's just been very recently mm. done, almost as if they were expecting you, um, potentially. But everything seems above board. If you're looking, I don't know if you're looking for things kind of un- unsavory or, or, or weird. But Any bugs? Or- no, no bugs. No, nothing. It's quite don't- pleasant. It's very inviting. Don't know if I trust this man. Not as far as uh, Father Jean can throw a man, no? <laughs> that would be quite far. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, significantly less. Significantly less than that, I would Sorry. say. Yes, yes this is true. Yeah, right, so you right, kind right, of, right. when both of you are entering, entering the room, both Mina and Pierre are immediately distrusting of the room or checking everything for, for, je, for je, um, je. <laughs> Halverson and Father. What's kind of your... Your impulse is into room, as as Jan said. You don't trust him. Well, I, I'm going to check my stuff. Yeah, I look through my bag. Check nothing is damaged. Check all my tools are there, especially the uh, like the pouch at the back, which cushions all the batteries. Yeah, little power sources. Make sure, count those. Make sure they're all there. None's been taken. Nothing's been touched. Nothing's been taken. Nothing's been disturbed. Okay. Well, uh, it's been a very tiring flight. Flight. I think. I think I can take a nap. Yeah. And uh, John, he'll enter into the room check to see if firstly the necronomicon is there still you've still got your still, still got, got your book still got your belongings still got my bible still got my carving knife and my gun he'll then so your your guns um you haven't asked about them they weren't returned to you because remember oh. remember the guards took them oh i thought they gave us back our stuff. your ordinary stuff like right, as in right, 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 right. So everything other than firearms has been returned yes okay including knives weapons are not with you okay so, they, we've, uh... so we've been disarmed yes but did they take All my our options? Have been returned. Did they take my garrot? And it, no, thought they wouldn't. It's just a piece of wire. Basically, <laughs> like I mean, I it's, it's something that you're <laughs> that, that you one. can obviously bring up with them if you'd like. But at this point, they put your bags off, and they, it didn't seem like maliciously done. It just seemed like you know, obviously they took it off you. And when he said give them back their stuff, they put their stuff down, and everything was just left at that. Like they've already got guns, so they probably just thought oh, there's a lot of guns around. It's, it's entirely possible. Okay, mm. but maybe not. Cool. Father John Murphy seems to know what's going on. 
He's got a pretty strong sense of what's 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 the sh- what the shakedown is. So, does uh, um, what is what is Father John thinking at the moment? He uh, he probably he, well he thinks that this island is probably important. It probably has some sort of astrological consequence. It's probably useful. It might be significant, and uh, a lot of people seem to want it. It makes sense for certain groups to be interested in it. Uh, mm. A cult, a, another cult of science. As, as well, what we're experiencing here. So uh, he, he's he's quite comfortable. And he, when uh, the dinner table after dinner, he'll he'll probably breach that with uh, broach that with the, the the three others. In yeah. the meantime, he's quite comfortable just to sit. About after like half an hour or so, Tarquin comes through and he'll he'll wrap on uh, first the door on the left, which will be Pierre and Dion. <laughs> <laughs> he's a heavy sleeper. <laughs> Sorry, are you are you inside? Do, uh, b- where? Inside and alive. Yes, uh, I, I, I wanted to inquire uh, as to what you would, uh, what your plans were for dinner tonight. Would you like something brought up to you, or the four of you like to? Uh, what, what, what would be of interest to you? What use is dinner if you can't share it with uh, many people loudly? Eh? Uh, we do have a, we do have a dining area. Perfect. Will your master be joining us for the dinner? Uh, I, I believe so, yes. Well, then uh, mm. we will uh, join our host. Uh, perhaps we can converse a little bit more. Uh, he is a man of science. Who? He's only polite. Uh, well, are you happy to come down now? Uh, ecstatic. Uh, just give because... me uh, a, a few a few moments to get to myself a little bit uh, <laughs> sorted out. I have been uh, fast asleep. All this, I'll all this follow is you done. downstairs. <laughs> Pierre has been lying there with eyes wide open. He is ready to leave <laughs> on the seconds. All this is done. He didn't open the door. He rapped and he's saying this all through. Yeah. You haven't asked for him to come in, so he hasn't come in. No. Okay, yeah. and Pierre's opened the door at this stage and he's... He's out. <laughs> he's he's hungry. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's down. Oh, he's awake. Free. He's wired. <laughs> he calls out. I, I, do you know where it is? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, any. I'm assuming that like we're hearing this through the walls. He, he will come in unless you open the door first. He'll come and knock over on your door. Yeah, I think I think we'd hear the voices outside. So <laughs> Mina might open the door and uh, is, listen is, on in. Is there anything we can we can do for your for your nose, uh, ma'am? Uh, how how should I address you? Yeah. Uh, that's fine. I don't need anything from you. Okay. Uh, w- would you be joining uh, the others for dinner as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll come down. Yes. Uh, uh, well, yeah. I, I believe uh, Sir uh, Master Pierre has already gone. I hope he'll find it. Otherwise, I'm happy to direct the three of you down as well for dinner with Daniel. After you? Hi, fantastic. Okay. Follow, Let's travel. Follow me. Thank you. Um And... <laughs> You know what? You know what, Pierre? Can you make me a navigate roll, please? Navigate. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was hoping it'd be luck. Um, just wander into the correct room. Navigate. Follow your nose, Pierre. Yeah, no, it's a fail. Yeah. <laughs> so you, um, you, you. Where does it? Where does it take me? Where does the wind? Ooh. Where does the wind take me, Pierre? You, you start heading down hallways. The bathroom. Um, <laughs> Oh. You kind of are you gonna go into any rooms or are you just just wandering? Um, how are the doors looking? Is there anything that's there's nothing that really distinguishes them? There's a lot of doors. There's okay. a lot, th- 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 this is a big place. Mm. You kind of you know what you find yourself in the kitchen. Mm. It's a bustling kitchen with a, with a few workers. Everything looks quite immaculate and, and state of the art. And they, one of them kind of looks over to you. Yes. Uh, hello. Uh, I am. Uh... I'm new here. Uh, I was just checking on the uh, on the staff, and uh, I was promised uh, I was promised a violin. Actually, has nothing to do with this. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> how long have you been working here? Uh, and he sort of gestures for his name. Uh, Barry. Barry. Yes. Uh, gay I've, Barry. I've been working. I've been working here for three years. <laughs> so, sorry, who are you? My name. Well, y- yes. But Pierre Patatique. And you of are. Of course. Sorry. Pierre Patatique. And, of course. And, and who are you? Who am I? Yes. Pierre Patatique. No, I know. Of course. <laughs> I feel like we're going in circles here. Is there a reason for you being here? I you were a guest. <laughs> I, I don't we, think you're there. Did you find? <laughs> oh, I'm, are we not, am I not there? No. no Pierre, oh, Pierre, Pierre, Pierre wandered by himself. Pardon, pardon me. Yeah. No, I, I think I'm just going to do... He, he, he just fancies working a bit of his charm on, on this person. Uh, and Look. Just, just... With what intention? Well, he doesn't think that he's going to get anything from these people but yeah. he just come on t- tell me you've been here three years Barry what's the what's the uh, how you say the goss <laughs> oh, oh it's <laughs> with the his... what is the damn low <laughs> <laughs> the 411 what's the apps the cat, <laughs> cat oh oh how'd you go uh, yeah it's a success oh 
wait a minute. It's nice working here. You know, I uh, I make money. I cook food. Yeah. I, I I go to sleep. It's it's a good life. Everyone feels the same as you. I presume so. One of the workers kind of comes around and says, "What are you doing? Get back to work." Uh, who is this? It's Pierre Petitique, of course. Oh, well, Pierre Petitique, where are you meant to be? I, I, I actually, I, I do not know. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't uh, mind pointing me in the direction of the, the dining room. Of the dining room? Okay. If you, you, just, you just grabs your shoulder and pushes you out. If you if you go down there, you turn right, and then you turn left and keep going down at your your third door on the left. Easy. Thank you very much. It's a long <laughs> way from the kitchen. <laughs> come on, Barry, get back to me. Come on, it's Barry. And, uh, it better not be fucking cold. <laughs> Pierre, I'm going to say, unless you're unless you're willingly looking for somewhere else, you, you you can take these instructions and you make your way. Yeah, I, I think he was just he was just wandering. He's here. He's going to just fuck with people. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just fuck. It seems very in character. Yeah. Having a sticky beak. He's yeah. just going to fuck of. with people for a bit. and yeah. Yeah. Um, Just because he can. Yeah, why not? Yep. He hasn't done it in a while. He's going to deal with clever people. Yeah. For yeah. Go into the bathroom, spray on someone else's perfume. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> as you, um, he would. Yeah, he would. <laughs> as you were about to walk away, um, Daniel was actually coming from behind you. says, oh, Pierre. Fancy seeing you here. Are you, are you heading over to the? Are you heading over for dinner? Uh, I am. Will you be joining me? Absolutely. I'm on my way right now. <laughs> then he, he sort of holds out his arm. Is this, uh, like, lo- oh. loop him. He'll indulge and he'll he'll, he'll loop him. Because he's, he's you know he's got a cane in one hand and he's still looking a bit rickety. Yeah. As yeah. A, as they're kind of walking through. Yeah. If you don't forgive me, if you don't mind me asking, how did you? Uh, have you always had to use a cane, or how did how did that come about? If it's not too personal a question. Oh, uh, not at all. Uh, you see, I picked it up after the war. I was doing some work for the French uh, police, uh, rooting out communists from their holes. You know, so they live, live in these holes. Uh, <laughs> you got gendarmes. The gendarmes. I, I know, but... It's a lovely word to say. I, just, I, did, I, 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 I didn't want you to pass on the opportunity to say uh, gendarmes. Gendarmes. Oh, Chaldea. Chaldea. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the uh, gendarmes, if you will. Fascinating. Yes, and, uh, you know, sometimes... You have to play a part, and uh, sometimes you have to get your hands, your knees dirty in this case. Yeah. I understand all too well. We all have our parts to play, don't we? And uh, Absolutely. Funnily enough, here's one of our entrances. And uh, I don't know, I tried to do a Shakespeare reference. <laughs> I'm not too well versed in Shakespeare. I'm, uh, well, allow um, me uh, to exeunt. Ah, <laughs> yes, after you, Pierre. <laughs> uh, Merci. <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, he steps you through and you're, you're greeted at a, at a lavish uh, dinner table. Tarquin has already brought Mina, Jean and John. I'm presuming you're all seated. Food has started to be plated out. It, it seems to be a wide variety of um, meats and, and hearty uh, potato, lavish vegetables, some that you haven't even seen before. Is it kind of like a, it, it's not a specific kind of cuisine it seems to be like uh, fusion like, well yeah but it, it, but is it like would, nothing is off the table in terms of like seasonal produce yeah. is it like is i it would like, describe it as like tropical roast mm. interesting glazed ham we're not we're not in the tropics we're in the north sea so it's like it's like european uh, like english tropical food a few other experimental mm, things around yeah. the side yeah. okay. and a bit of seafood and it's like, yeah, 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 as, yeah. As, you know a bit of a potpourri some of, some um, crab is there yeah. a whole pheasant? <laughs> no, there is not. Unfortunately, Pierre yeah, is mortified. <laughs> uh, a bit of a pheasant, <laughs> not a whole one. <laughs> and, uh, and Daniel comes through. So I'm glad you could all make it. Absolutely, I will. And he starts plating his food. He's not shy about it. You know, absolutely, dig in. Please have have what you please. Drinks for anyone else? The, the same or? Ah, oh, surprise me. Uh, no, don't surprise me. That's quite trust. Everything. Uh, give me your best. Uh, oh. This is a big decision. <laughs> give me your best. Just anyone can cut in at any time. Uh, <laughs> uh, have, you, uh, have you got any uh, Sav Blanc? I'm sure we can. <laughs> yes, we do. I'm sure we can arrange that. Uh, uh, Tarquin, uh, are you okay with Tarquin? Uh, are, you, are you happy with Tarquin's service? Ah, uh, yes. I, I think he's done a fantastic job. Absolutely. 100%. It, <laughs> hey, well done, Tarquin. This is this poisson? is uh, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. poisson. Thank, uh, thank you. Any any leaves to get orders? No. Absent. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, as, Sorry, as, I, I know that's a strange request, but uh, Tarquin actually he, he loves positive reinforcement, so it's, it's lovely for him to hear it, and he likes to hear it. I was just about to ask, and I use psycho uh, uh, psychology to see what Tarquin's res- like was space was because we left that quite open. Yes, like there was a bit of a pause. I wanted to see what his like reaction was in the fact that we were kind of in a negative that we positive. didn't that we didn't say anything. Oh, no, my, God, no, ama- no. oh my God, it's amazing! No, no, <laughs> the fact that we might say no, mm. like the fear of that whether it's like a I, I see what you got for yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. go, go like, for it if we'd have said no would he have been like yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my god I'm gonna die yeah yes. Yeah, I passed, Just There's nothing of that variety. It seems, for all intents and purposes, that what Daniel said was absolutely correct. Tarquin is a man that genuinely... Enjoys positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement. <laughs> mm. Like, he, mm. he wants to do good at his job. Cool, cool, yep. cool, cool. He cool. enjoys his job and he wants to do well. Yeah, is, great. Is anyone, else, is anyone else just waiting for something horrible to just, like, appear from out of the walls or no. from beneath the table? <laughs> I, I'm waiting from for the ham... No, I don't think. I don't think from the bill. I think from the the laboratory that's been kept away from us. There's yes, probably like from an old Jewish horror. Yeah, from underneath been stuck the mansion there, or something. I'm still waiting for that first flicker of something, like a hint of something yes. fucked up. Mm. This and the in, fact in that there's people. nothing is really bugging me. Yeah. <laughs> it's really starting to get to yeah. me. In many ways, that's the real horror. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's dread. Right. Yeah. 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 Yes. I see, Sean took my note of <laughs> stop doing. I want to light fun, silly game of fisticuffs. <laughs> Extend <laughs> scenes to make them suspect. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, well, I think uh, uh, you know, y- Yerden likes fish. He loves a bit of fish, so he's going to look for some fish and eat that. Fish, fish there for him and carbs, yeah. root vegetables. Yeah. yeah, good wintery food. As you guys are popping food onto your plate, Daniel, you know he, he's very relaxed. He's like, look, I, I obviously I feel like uh, we didn't get a, a, a proper chance to uh, get to know each other, or I'm sure you have a myriad of questions that you'd like to ask or maybe you just like to relax but either way I'm I'm here for what you need could you tell me a little bit more about what John was working on uh, she was uh, uh, started to tell me a bit about her research when we uh, when we were talking last uh, but uh, I'd like to see what uh, she what uh, uh, progress she made while she was on the island Joan was I don't like to peer over people's shoulders. I'm I'm here more of a facilitator more than anything, and I gave up space in here for her to uh, achieve her work. She wasn't one that really... She liked to keep work separate from life. She was working here in the mansion? Yes. She kind of did an opposite to what a lot of people do here. She she lived in, this, in the city, and she worked here. And how do you select the people who, who do their research here? I'm not really responsible for... I'm here to protect the island, so to speak. But the, the foundation themselves, they... I would say they look for a, a differing things. It, it's, they look for bright scientific minds. They look for people of through all fields. If you're looking at medicine, physiology, uh, biology, military, I, I feel you're being a little bit evasive of my sure. question. Sure. What would you What would you like to what, know specifically? Uh, what uh, was she working on? Well, Joan specifically, what she was looking for is she wanted to see what was, for lack of a better word, out there. She liked to know what was beyond what was possible. If if there are people in the community that tell you you can't do something, Joan's ethos is that of the Ambrosia Foundations, which is you only can't do something until you can. Well, uh, do you know if she was acting a bit suspicious? Like, are the people you say have been acting suspicious when uh, she before she went missing? At this point, uh, he briefly looks around, takes a, a few moments, and over the past week, yes, uh, I'd had a... a I'd had a few moments to talk with her, and, 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 and she seemed a little bit off-kilter, a little bit not like herself. Uh, In what the way? I would, you might know this better than anyone, but I, I would describe Joan as a bubbly, personable individual, uh, one who takes pride in her work, is passionate and quite open, and, and, and here she seemed quite introspective and guarded, less affable. And did she say anything that um, might... Uh, give us the place to start searching of where she has gone? No, I, I once again, I, 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 a day of Joan not being around is, is not really something to bat an eye at. You know, mm-hmm. she wasn't, she hadn't, she wasn't around two days ago, and that was fine, but, uh, you know, it's the second now day that have... she didn't come into work, so I, as of tomorrow, I was either going to send someone down or myself to either check her place, or, as I said before, I, I, 
if you <laughs> got I'm to quite my head, happy to do it myself. I mean, I have come to check on her. So. Gone to my head, if she was going to be found anywhere else, you would find her at a library. Uh, she she would always have her nose in a book. So yes, you have mentioned. I will probably uh, look at your library as well. I uh, was just uh, wondering. Uh, all of our uh, possessions have uh, not been uh, returned to us. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. What? What's not been returned? I mean, I heard of the violin, but that was more of a prank more than anything. Well, <laughs> a uh, good one. I've got a bit of a family heirloom. My guns. Ah, they would have taken your guns as well. Is there any way of getting them back? My sporting rifle. I was hoping to do maybe a little bit of hunting on the island while we were here. I'd like quite like it back. Uh, thank you. If everyone comes into the city with guns, then people understandably get nervous. Oh, that's funny because I remember uh, getting off a plane and being met with, uh, oh, uh, 30 people or so with guns in my face. So I'd feel a bit less nervous if I had my guns back in my hand. Thank you. Well, if someone comes into your country from a different country, wouldn't you reasonably have a border security force there? Hey, don't pull that shit with me. My f- my dad came over to America from Sicily. He tried his best. And now, you know, he's a, he's a respectable gentleman. All right? Maybe a bit of trust wouldn't go astray. And I don't know that I can trust you people when you got guns in my face. I, I think, and, and I don't mean to presume, but this island's policy is about mines and uh, science. I don't imagine many of the people would be carrying a weapon. And I presume that's the case for everyone in the city. I don't imagine that anyone other than the police force, quote-unquote, would have guns. Is that right? That would be correct. Everyone that comes through here gets the same treatment you do. I can't make an exception for you just because you're attached to your guns. You must understand we are over and above all peaceful. I promise not to take it into town, but I would like it returned to me. It was quite expensive. You can rest assured that they are safe, but once you leave the island, you're more than welcome to take your belongings. But as far as heading into the island, heading any further... That's the extent of... Is, is there a possibility that because we're staying here in, in for the meantime, that they could be in our rooms in a chest or a safe or, or something secure so that uh, we know where they are? I'm more than happy to uh, have Tarquin show you where they are being kept. You'd feel much safer knowing where they are. This is our police force, this enforcement agency. Uh, maybe there might be the possibility that, uh, what, they need an extra hand or while I'm here. Uh, it's kind of my job back home to uh, enforce things. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a very capable kind of person. Would it be a possibility to kind of, uh, I don't know, you might need a bit of help. You might need a bit of a hired help. Admirable goal, obviously, and I, I know where you're coming from, but uh, I can't make exceptions, I'm sorry. Uh. Oh, that's all right. We understand that this is a, a pristine and important place for, for you and the people within it. We don't want to rock the island, as it were. Ah. I'm glad you understand, Father. Uh, I, I, it's all right. I know this is it is obviously an awkward conversation, but I don't carry weapons. No one that goes forth carries weapons. Consider this a hub, and it's not about trust. It's just about expectations from everyone. Hey, that's all right. And he'll slip the carving knife for the the, uh, the beef into his pocket. I successfully sleight of handed it. Just a normal success? Yes. What was your number? Ten. He doesn't notice. Mm. Have you rolled above, like, a 20? <laughs> I, I rolled a 55 for the search room earlier. Right. Otherwise, uh, do you have any queries or questions or things that I can be of use for? Yeah, what's the uh, kind of crime rate here? What's, uh, you say you're peaceful. I get that. Uh, but you don't need guns necessarily to do crime. Any, uh, those unsavory people uh, that you mentioned on, on the island, uh, what was the kind of nature of their uh, unsavoriness? At its least, you're looking at bar fights and general unruliness. At its worst, thievery, disputes and um well as of late people going missing mm. people come to steal the discoveries perhaps it's not unheard of people come here to find things to seek treasures to head into the forest the so it sounds like uh, you're short of uh, people you can trust it's less about trust i try to uphold an expectation on this island and and this is this is a place of discovery and of work everyone is free to come here yeah 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 so you say and uh, people come in and going uh, what's how often does that happen? How often do you get new people in? Ah, well, besides those that are invited here, I mean, we we do get uh, several people coming every month. We we try not to overcrowd. I must admit, sometimes people come through, and they evade my notice. I have noticed people that have been a uh, raising hell, so to speak, in the city that I do not remember allowing in. So. We're not perfect, but we, we, we do our best. I just want to try a bit of charm. 
So it, uh, it seems like uh, there is something something that we can do for you. And maybe there is something you can do with us. I know my friend brought this up before, but uh, it would be beneficial to have some extra information just between us, surely. Go for a hard charm roll. I spent 10 luck points on that and made that a hard success. And so you're asking him whether he can... Just give us a bit more info in the way that Jörn was asking. <sighs> right, cards on the table. Jörn, you were about to ask me something earlier until you were interrupted. Yes, uh, forgive us if we are being a bit cagey. What were you going to ask? He knows what you're going to ask, but he's asking you to ask him. We have had uh, some dealings with a few unsavory peoples ourselves. Uh, we call them the uh, Fellowship of uh, Nature's, Nature's Salvation. That's the correct. Huh. And how do you know them? Well, they have been uh, up to no good in uh, the United States, making uh, rituals and burning places to the ground. And uh, they uh, took an associate of ours who uh, we believe they may have taken here to your island. Did he Did he have a book with him? Uh, a book has been involved in our investigations, yes. And am I right in assuming the man you are referring to is goes by the name of Dexter? This is someone we have been uh, interesting to us, yes. Dexter was a man that was initially on this island. He came here, he was one of those with dreams of treasure discovery, or at least knowledge, is uh, how he put it. I did meet him personally I didn't uh, I judged him to be a a good sort he did what uh, is um, not advised here he went into the forest I can tell you that no one that has gone into the forest that surrounds this island has ever come out Dexter did Dexter brought something out with him brought out a book and the reason I I've heard rumblings of uh, nature's salvation I've heard rumblings of uh, the book and it is only I only have to put two and two together to realize that uh the man that has been responsible for the things that you have talked about originated from my island, and so I feel a measure of um, responsibility for that. It would not surprise me if he was to make his way back here. We suspect that might be the case. Perhaps you could uh, have your uh, police force keep an eye out for him. Absolutely. I mean, even better would be if we were able to operate on our own terms. Back in uh, the US when we last saw them, we had a run in with Dexter and uh, thought that we had got him for good. I was able to take him down, down with my Beretta. Be handy in case we, uh, you know, spot him first. Obviously, we don't uh, want to cause anybody harm. But uh, who's to say what they're gonna do to us? He's dangerous. Is uh, is and, what uh, uh, what the Mina is saying? Uh, and uh, if we are to go after him, if he is here, uh, perhaps we should be. Uh, you can trust us to be armed ourselves. Don't worry, I can hit a kneecap or two. You know. <laughs> it's a rule I cannot break. If we break the laws, we are no better than Dexter or any other unsavory character that comes through here. So I'm... you're fine with uh, letting him coming come back and uh, killing everybody? Is that what you're saying? It's, no... it's okay. It's okay. We do what we can. Eh? At the very least, you might want to flameproof uh, some of your buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Not because of us, of, of course. He's uh, uh, built a bit of Dexter. a following, and uh, they seem to be uh, rather Dexter. keen on uh, starting fires wherever they go. Has there been any mysterious fires? Not that has been reported anyway, no. Hey, Daniel, we will we'll operate within the terms that you've set. We understand that this is your place, your space, and that uh, we're just visitors, we're just guests. We want to operate within your terms. And if that means that we operate without weapons that we're typically carrying, then we'll do our best. If we if we come back and we, we explain how, why we need them in a concrete, specific answer that is, uh, you know, that we can't send your police force after, then you'd give us them back, right? If your police force couldn't do it and we were the only ones that could, you'd give us our weapons back, I presume. I can say I'm always open to a conversation. There we are. In the meantime, I'm sure we can figure out where this where this feather's either hiding or when he arrives, we can we can figure that out. In the meantime, we'll look for your friend John. Seems like a good place to start. Uh, and we'll take our steps from there. And, um, you know, we'll keep you keep you in the conversation. I appreciate your understanding. Look, if you if you don't mind, it is starting to get rather late. I have a large day ahead of myself as well. So um, feel free to stay here and finish up if you want more to drink. Otherwise, I will be retiring to my room and um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'll see you in the coming days, if not sooner. Thank you for being accommodating. Mm. Bonne nuit, Monsieur Herbert. Um, I'll see what I could do about that violin, Pierre. Thank you, I feel yeah. a concerto coming on. He kind of <laughs> kind of wipes, wipes his hands on the napkin in front of him, places it down, clasps tuck one on the back and um, heads off and leaves you, the four of you, at the dinner table together on D'Ambrosia Island.
Roll to Cast Ambrosia Island is a Baby Beard Media production. Find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and all our podcasts are on Spreaker, Spotify, YouTube and all good podcatchers. You can support us on Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash babybeard. Pulp Cthulhu and all associated properties are trademark of Chaosium Inc. Used with permission. You've been listening to a Robots Radio podcast. Smart shows for interesting people. Check out all the shows at robotsradio.net. My name is Brian Burton. It's been 26 years since the bombs fell. And since I've left the vault, I've been trying to rebuild. This isn't the Appalachia that I remember. There's so much more to everything going on. And I promise to find the answer. So if you're out there, if you're listening, just hone in on these coordinates. Remember, there's a place for you at the end. Omega. The Omega Broadcast Fallout Story is available on iTunes, Spotify, and many great podcasting sources.